I've gone through the first, second, and third game for Freddy Fish. The case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Bronny Gulch is next. And yeah, I probably would have helped if I started up Steam before it is, but whatever. It's early in the morning. Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Alright, so, copyright 1999. We're almost up to the 2000s. Alright then, let's get going. There's Cousin Calico's ranch! I'm raring to go! Into town one day, fresh from Napoli Bay, rode a mean looking fish with a name I can't say. His face, which was dark, had the eyes of a shark, and his bite I hear tell was much worse than his bark. That's because he was a trigger fish with jaws of steel. Now I don't mind saying this made us all a little bit nervous and we kept our distance from this worrisome stranger. So when he asked for one of us simple folk to swim up close and give him a good scratch and give it, we all turned tail and swam for the hills. Seems the guy had a patch he couldn't quite scratch. He just wanted some help and there wasn't a catch. As he swam off, I wish that we hadn't all ditched, but no one dared get near. The itchy trigger fish. Interesting little song. Always kind to his brother, comes in out of the rain. Gets his homework done early, gives up his seat on the train. Oh yeah. He's always using his brain. Listens close to his mother, always helps out his dad. Everyone seems to like him. Cause Billy ain't bad. So you get multiple songs from these guys here. Well, let's get to it. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? 
Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Alright, so it's a cowboy theme one. And first thing we're gonna do is go down here to see this little thing here. So, I guess this is the first like, you know, freight fish we have to have like, you know, save, load, and quit. So can save. And can load, I guess, as well. Well, let's get to it. Which way do I go? That leads me back here. Guess we'll go this way. And it's our good friend a sea urchin. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! Alright, I'll probably start slowing down. He's like clicking everything, but whatever. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. If he says so. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Perhaps that's a hint. What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. Hey, eh? Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Orchid squid of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? 
Rustler's taken your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note, 926. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Alright, so we got ourselves our first hint. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello! Eight Fingered Phil, Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Hmm. Looks like a minigame right here. Or like a little movie thing. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Lou. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. All right, well, our first helpful hint. You know, I have to say, I really like the voice acting in this one. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note, 926. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Alright, so. My suspicious. So I got a couple ways going up here. Let's go this way first. Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. What do you want to bet this is 926? This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Nine. One. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. 
Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy. Can we eat this note now, like it says? Well... I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well... I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. All right, well, interesting sort of fetch quest. All right, you hogfish, quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big! Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! I just need a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and whatever letter you want on the front. So I guess we need an F and we need like, you know, a piece of metal. Screwdriver, that's new. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. These plans say they need a piece of wood seven feet by seven feet. All right, so they need wood for us to get the screwdriver. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker. And I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! 
go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. There's a lot of any paper in this uh, game. I'm not sure it's a good thing. Those are pickle pit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. I see you're looking at the gum. You have a good eye, little lady. That happens to be Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum, the best, chewiest bubble gum available without a prescription. Oh, that's the last pack available. All the rest is, uh, reserved. I'll let you have it in exchange for just two purple sea urchins. All right, so, here's where we get to spend our sea urchins that we basically find. Do you sell anything besides wheel nuts and bubble gum? No, that's all. Say, you two aren't federal marshals, are you? Oh boy! A real ten gallon hat! Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Wanted, wrong, I, Clifford, by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of stagecoach, heaven. Wanted, crooked, tooth, McFluke, by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of seahorse, scaring. Wanted Black Tongue Loop by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Urchin Snatching. Wanted Crazy Finn Clifford by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Coral Brandon. Wanted Long Nose Alice by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Tumbleweed Biting. I know I'm going through these because it might be like, you know, part of like, you know, the game. Wanted Black Hat Pebblefield by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Halibut Lifting. Wanted Wrong Tongue Ruth by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Cactus Ticklin. I wonder how many are in here. Wanted Crooked Eye Jack by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Lasso Huggin. I want to these are random. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my silver star. You can't be a sheriff without a silver star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. 
This county would owe you a great service if you did. There's the sheriff, I guess. Our former sheriff. I'm like just like a tiny thing or Yeah, I guess this is a tiny it. thing. I knew we could do it. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin. Well I can afford to gun now a lot. It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah. I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Up oh, a couple items from here. I guess you only have to do this once, so that's nice. What's going on here? Wow, that's amazing! You should see my brother! Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't! Why is that? I think I'm stuck! Huh? Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it! Reflex! Reflex? Happens whenever anybody gets near me! Maybe we need a lasso for him? Alright, what's this guy all about? My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. So this guy's got the bow tie I could possibly get. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica, the apple of my. I traded away my monica. For ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Now. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Slim special super stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh. Not quite ready. Alright, so I gotta trade off um, this guy's harmonica for something. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away, I'm waiting for an important package. Uh, 
Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. That's not gonna do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. Alright, well. Worth a try. What's going on over here? It's a bone. It's an old tire. It's an old shoe. It's an anchor. It's just a pile of junk. Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. <laughs> Yikes! Doesn't he have anything better to do? Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. seems to take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. Interesting sort of gimmick here. I'm not sure I really appreciate it, but whatever. seen anyone eat so fast. I guess we can go this way. He must be really hungry. Guess let's leave that bit alone. Yeah, I'm not sure I really appreciate that sort of idea of like, you know, sort of like a um a junk eating fish. It's a dress to eat. <clears throat> we could deliver your package for you if you like. Oh no, that's against the rules. I have to deliver it myself. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Ah, so we need a square enough for this. 
Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. <laughs> Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time. Pretty good time. All right, let's look at the nuts and so then know where to, you know, where to get it. Are you E. Tippet? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. I may not have mentioned that pickle pit nuts are cast from a revolutionary aluminum alloy which allows them to resist the kind of heat deformation often associated with near light speeds. It's that kind of attention to detail that makes pickle pit the best nut for your wheel. And what a price! Only three purple sea urchins. You won't find a better deal. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Uh, I gotta click on these, I guess. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous pickle fit wheel nut is all yours. We have one purple sea urchin. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We this one looks good. Let's just get thank just you. done. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. <clears throat> Let's get going. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry! I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big! I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is! It's real good. <sighs> Alright, let's go help out the mail, man. We did it! It's fixed! And it'll stay on there, right? 
We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoofs him something awful. What's he got against glue? At last. All right, where's the melody for like the belt buckle, I guess? Mr. Tippet, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure, take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. All right, well. What's up here? Are you ready to start? Looks like some sort of game. Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Oh, this is like, um... This is what you call it. This is asteroids, basically. There doesn't seem to be any, like, movement control, so it's just, like, you know... Motion by, like, you know... Motion by shooting stuff, basically, is what this is all about. Simple enough of a game. That's enough of that, though. Hey, here's the firewood. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Alright, so I need 7x7 wood. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. I like how we just put like a 7x7 piece of wood into like a little fish. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Harmonica, harmonica. To play you was to kiss you. But now all I have is this old bow tie. Oh, Monica, how I miss you. Why did you trade away your harmonica if you liked it so much? Well, I really wanted a bow tie back then. Now I trade back in a second. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome.
Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. All right, well, that's done. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. Ah, so here's what we need to handle. There! It fits perfectly! Now we've got a handle on that tail. <laughs> Here, let me help. Not Luther, you are. Oh, that's better. All right, well, that's done. <laughs> hey, look, this place is filled with water now. Our sea urchin. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! I can buy gum now, I guess. It's Cayenne. Cayenne? Um, Cayenne is kind of hot. Looks okay. Whew. It's pepper. Really? Lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. Pepper might come in handy if we run across a sea cucumber salad. We need something to keep it in. Alright, so, this is basically, a, I think, need for the puffer fish. I see if find something to basically hold the puffer fish as, like, you know, pepper in. Like this canister. Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy.
What are these letters doing here? M. F. I wonder what we could use to get those screws out. One letter. Interesting. What do we do with these letters? Well, let's use the spice we can hear in a pepper. There! One container of pepper. There! One container of lemongrass. Oh, boy! You basically get what you don't want here, basically. There! One container of pepper. I wonder what I basically need for the pepper fish. We'll find out. Alright! What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it! But... It's chocolate! Yeah! Lovely little smack, I guess. I want to let this purpose can be used for that guy up here. But first, let's go up to the puffer fish. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. This gum might be useful for a guy who likes to eat stuff. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Rustlers took my cousin's hogfish, and we know where they are. Can you go and arrest them? I can't help. I'm not the sheriff anymore. A shrimp without a silver star is, well, just a shrimp. I don't think I need that right now. So, no, not right there, I need that. Huh? Here, try some pepper. Gee, I 
hope he's okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. Well, we're in here now. There's Armarka. Hey! A harmonica! Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Alright, so here's the kelp mine. need one letter. I like how we're constantly putting our letters back. L's for Lufer, by the way. Do, do, do. Here, would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Well, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Alright, well, we got ourselves a bow tie. Thank you so much! Now, I can play the blues again. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please, just go to sleep, please! I have to say the animations are something. Keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. <laughs> I like this silver starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. There is a silver star. Nope, that's the wrong way. Let's go find Mr. Sheriff. Hmm. 
I'm not bothered I'm trying to like not skip cutscenes at this point because like so, it's always possible something might pop up when I'm just, like, you know, traveling. I don't want to skip animations that you guys may want to watch, so... Here! I believe this is yours! My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough! Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty ten-gallon hat? Sure! I won't be needing that old thing anymore! Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there! That's a loading zone! Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Alright, let's go make our thing. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy! Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Dude! Finally back here. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. Okay, stand back! Yikes! My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. All right, well, there we go. We're done. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. Well, let's try and finish off this game. Luther. You stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bow tie like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet. If we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. What do 
you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Huh? Wow! That's kind of scary! I'd almost believe you were a rustler! Good! That's what we want! That's a great rustler disguise, Freddy! Thanks, Luther! I hope it fools the guard! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard! Wait! I'm coming with you! Good thinking, Luther! Hold it! This is a rustler's only area! I can tell you're not a rustler! Your hat's not the right color! Nobody but lawmen wear that color! Your belt buckle's got the wrong designer logo on it! So I can't let you pass by! This wrestler costume didn't work! You're right, Luther. We need to get it right, or we'll never rescue the hogfish. Hey, Renny, okay? I don't want to wear these around everywhere. Here's a question, how do I dye the hat? I basically have all the stuff I need, I just need to have the, you know, the right color and the right, the, um, letter, I guess. I'm guessing a case I need, so... We'll get that going. I have an idea for a color, by the way. Remember when we had like those like three squids basically spinning in the bucket? Basically, there's like purple, orange, and blue. Let's go here. Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves, too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. nicer now. Well, there we go. Here, can you put this on our belt buckle instead of the old letter? Sure. Let's have the buckle. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you very much! You're welcome! Well, let's try it again. Come on, 
Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Alright, so, it looks like I'm in the final phase of Freddy Fish here. There's got to be some other way out of this room. Let's try cannonballs. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Uh. Phew! These are heavy! Uh. There! That does it. All right, well, there we go. Hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. I wonder what this does. This is fun. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Hmm. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there.
All right, we move the rudder. Look at this neat hook. Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. That was simple enough. Do we need anything else from here, I wonder? Let's go back here. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. That's not gonna do me any good. There, that hooks on pretty well. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. Hmm. We need to attach something heavy to this hook. Then we can pull off these bars. It's a hook. I don't think I need that right now. That's not gonna do me any good. There. That hook's on pretty well. Thing is, what do I attach to said hook? When we pull them, if we can find something to give them a good solid yank, I think they'll come out. Maybe I go back up here? Those wrestlers must have locked us in here. I have all the pieces I need, but I just can't figure out how to basically get the hook onto the, you know, this here. We need to attach something heavy to this hook. Then we can pull off these bars. That's not gonna do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. I don't think I need that right now. There. That hooks on pretty well. Oh. That's all I had to do. Okay, drop the anchor. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Oh! 
Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Mori? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law! Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around! Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp! Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. When the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? So who is it? Let's see. It's probably the salesman because it basically was like, you know, I need to like, you know, get my money. Mr. Burker. You've been in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Ah, uh, <laughs> aha! <laughs> we also read your IOU, even though you tried to tell us it was a poem. You rustled the hogfish to pay off your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <laughs> What was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman. And I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish were still chewing it when we got here. Yes, yeah, Super Rubber Bubble lasts a long time. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good. And I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching. Which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people. And it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son! Oh, yeah! How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course! Here, I've got something for you. Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! Now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo. All right, well, roam, that's the game. You know, I have to say, this is probably not the greatest Freddy Fish game I've played. And the animations were not, like, you know, doing well at the end there very well either. Alright, well, here's some, like, some complaints basically have for, like, this game here. 
Besides, like, the animation at the end there, I found, like, you know, this one was basically a lot more, like, you know, out there, shall we say, in, like, terms of, like, you know, what you had to basically do, like, sort of, like, do, basically, to, like, you know, figure out the puzzles. I mean, honestly, I figured out all the puzzles in this one, like, easily enough, but, um, I'm not sure, like, you know, it'd be that easy for a kid to basically figure him out. Also, I don't like the idea of, like, the bone and, like, everything else being, like, fed to, like, the shark there, like, the junk shark, like, eh. There's some things in this, like, aspects of this game that were, like, not that great. But whatever. Freddy Fish 4, that's what this one basically was. I guess we can cook stuff in the background here. Waiting for his crestus to finish him was like, you know, go for an Aragas. I have to say, for these crests, they're kind of boring. <laughs> you know, that's something to say about this game. I find that this one is a little bit more half-assed, shall we say, compared to like the other, like, you know, HE titles. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels like they didn't like put as much effort into this one as like they did like the other like you know HD games for the most part. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not sure how much longer these crests are going to go, but you know, whatever. I think we're almost to the end. Or if we are, we basically are like, you know, past it and, you know, we, we start again. The fish and the voices of Enet, um, Tutogani is Freddy, Mike McAfee, um, Aleph is, uh, Luther. Quite a bit of voice talent in this one. I will say this, by the way, the voice talent for this one was not that bad compared to like, the other ones. And there we go, Fairy Fish for the case of the high fish rosters of Briny Gulch. I fancy it for the credits. I think now it's like repeating the credits on us, so uh, game design, Brad Collison and Lisa Wick. Do you really want to quit? Alright, well. I guess that one was basically the longest one I've basically played thus far, but yeah, I have to say I didn't really think much of Freddy F um Fish 4. And it's to the point that I'm not even sure I'm gonna basically borrow like showing us to my like, you know, niece, so. That's really saying something, but whatever, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and take care.